Okay, we got something new to do today. Instead of working on a Harley and working on a Ford truck, we're gonna look at some new product that uh, some company wanted to test out for them. So, something from Amazon, I think. Anyway, here it is. It's whatever the hell this is. Some kind of a battery. What is this thing? Oh, it's a portable air pump. All right, close enough. I thought it was a battery charger. Eh. Here's how you get this stuff open. Let's see what we got in here. Fancy pouch. I guess you can put that in your car. You strap it on your bike. Right there on your seat or something, I guess. Even a saddlebag if we had one. Looks like it's relatively small, so it's easy to deal with. I don't know what the hell it is. Got in here. Probably not supposed to swear. Yeah, whatever. What kind of a cord is this? Yeah, who knows? Yeah, what else we got down here? Oh, there's instructions and everything. Yeah, we'll look at them later. We don't need no instructions. Oh, it looks like a cigarette lighter. Great. How am I supposed to use that? Oh, smoke. Ooh, fancy. Bungee cord. Uh, okay. It's pretty fancy. And let's put this. I think I need two hands to work on this already. Ooh, there's something on the floor. Maybe they came out with it. Uh, ooh, that looks like something you put in your arm. Blow up your arm with maybe. Probably for balls or something. I guess that's for like soccer balls and footballs and basketballs and baseballs and stuff like that. If it's got a ball on the end of it, it blows it up, right? You can use an air bed too, who knows. All right, there we go. We aren't doing balls today. That's going to be hard to plug in around here. Might have to do something about that. Looks like they give you a few feet. That's a plus. Probably not enough to get the back of a semi truck trailer. There's some cheap ass plastic stuff there. Yeah, how many feet they give us? Yeah, about that much. Maybe six feet. So as long as you're within six feet of whatever that goes into, you're good. Let's see. Ooh, look at that. Fancy. I'm not sure what that does. I'm pretty sure this is a bungee cord. Maybe there's something inside here to look at. That's a tire inflator valve. Oh, that's fancy. Oh, look at that. Put that on your valve stem. That's what that was. See, I knew what it was the whole time. See, well, when you got an old wheel, get one of these on the end of it. I guess that goes on there somehow. Ooh, look at that. I figured it out. Well, that's pretty easy to do. Push it on. Close it. That's like almost foolproof. We're not used to foolproof around here. I wonder how long before we break this cord off. All right, what else does it do? Oh, it doesn't come apart? Oh, I thought it was going to come apart. What if I force it? Gotta be a way of getting it apart. They put together, there's gotta be a way of taking it apart, right? I can see a resistor buried up inside that hole. Alright, maybe that's not kind of product testing they want me to do, take it apart, see how it works. Okay, so the first problem is we gotta do something about this. Stick it up your butt, but I don't think it'll work. Let's figure out that. This is probably an on off switch. 
Yeah, you can tell it works really good because there's no power. All right, so looks like I need a power device. Ooh, that doesn't come off. I guess that's up. There it goes. All right, so we got to find a power source. I think my camera has a some kind of a power source, maybe. Yeah. I guess it's 12 volt. Probably goes to a battery. If I read the instruction, I would know that. All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna find me a 12 volt power source. All right, we're back. Power source, maybe. AC turbo adapter for my batteries for my camera. Obviously, it works. We're watching the video, right? All right, I just got this in, so we're gonna do a product check on the AC power adapter for uh, for your camera cord batteries. How's that? Okay. This is going to be a two-for-one test. Now, if you don't live in the U.S., we have this. Okay, there's one of these things. Kind of looks like one of these right here. So I'm thinking it might be the same. So that might work. Okay, now we got a power adapter. She gave me that with this damn thing. Okay, there's our power adapter. That's my battery's going for my battery charger. Okay, that's a flip-up. Now, how's that going to work on this? Oh, okay. Yeah, see, it's you got your battery charger to a plug-in over here. That gets me to this, but that doesn't help me because that's the wrong end. So it still doesn't help me. I still have the wrong socket. I got a male. I need a female. It's going to go this direction, you know. Right, we're still screwed. I don't need to plug this into yet. All right. Uh, let's see here. What do we got around we can plug this into? I don't know of anything. Let's see. What do you do if you don't have anything to plug this into? We make it. That's what we do. But we need a 12 volt battery too. That's another problem. Alright, so we're running out of stuff to use, but we're going to keep continuing. I'll be back. I'll give you something else to play with. Alright, we're back. We have a power adapter. It's called uh, Alligator Clips. There we go. We got negative and positive. Universal, whichever one you hooked it with. Just don't hook them together. Okay, we got that. We got a 12 volt Ultima battery off my race bike. This is our 12 volt porous horse. So we use that. And we got a power cord somewhere around here. That'd be this thing right here. This thing. Back up to here. That came off of our uh, charger, what is this thing? Tire inflator, that's what that thing is. Okay, so this is gonna be positive and negative. I'm guessing this is positive and this is negative. Maybe, I guess we'll find out. So, take an alligator clip, come off of there, positive. This will be negative, that'll be negative. All right, we got, we got it bummied up. These two go to your battery. And it should work. Let's find out. How you doing, Scooby? Scooby's over here helping. You gonna help, Scooby? Where you going, Scooby? Yep, Scooby's running away. Okay, I'm gonna drop my tripod down a little bit. <clears throat> we got Scooby. Here's away. Professional type stuff we're doing here. We got cameras all over the place. Hey, look at Scooby for a while. Yeah, where's Scooby? How you doing, Scooby? Scooby gonna help? Scooby's gonna help. All right, other side. Yeah, there we go. You gonna film, Scooby? Oop, back over there. Okay, I got Scooby. Look at. It's cold out there too. End of the day, sun's going down. I was going to try to charge up that tire over there, but let's get the run first. Okay, so we got a battery. Got a battery charger for me. So I got to keep making sure my battery's up. So that goes into a, go to the AC power outlet. It's just have to be over here. Okay, plug in my battery charger. It's on now. Oop, there you go. 
Come over and help. Come up with your butt. Okay. So we got positive, negative. Alright. It's charging right now. Put that right there. Okay, now we got positive over here. This is positive. Okay, this is all uh, very good done over here. You make sure you insulate this stuff so you don't short it out to make a, a mess. So we're going to do something for insulation around here. Take a nice clean towel. Wrap up the uh, positive side so you don't short into it. And you take your negative one. Right here. Hook it up there. And we take the positive over here. Okay, now that should give us some power. Now let's see if we got power. So for now it appears to be not working. So maybe we need to have two negatives, I don't know. Maybe this is supposed to be collapsed to get it to make juice. We can't do that here. Let me hold my finger in. So it appears we are getting no power. So, power outlet sucks. Got no way of running the pump. Uh, let's see. Maybe we need another ground cable. Shouldn't matter, but we'll try it. We'll just keep trying stuff until it fails, right? Maybe something will work. Okay, we've got another ground on this side. Oh, there we go. It lit up. Okay, you got both sides of that grounded. No, I don't get the positive open up though. Okay, we got power now. Look at that. Ooh, it's got some kind of an air gauge on there and everything. I don't know if you can read that. Yeah, can you read what it says? I don't know what that does. Zero. Okay. Maybe it's got some kind of an air gauge on it. It's got lights on it too. Look at that. That way when it's dark out you can see, right? Alright, we need a tire to play, play with. Here, here's a Model A tire. We'll play with this. It's quick and simple. There, it's light too. Yeah, it's a great test. Let's set this up a little there for me here. I'll go over here. Camera's in my way anyway. Alright, pull that back a little bit. So that's a Model A wheel. I think it's like 28, 29 Ford Model A, in case you know what a Model A is. It's got a Harley uh, 21 inch tire on it. It's had a lot of air in it for a long time. Get my air gauge, see how much air is in it. Appears to have like nothing. The tire is pretty hard for being nothing. Let's see what the fancy machine says here. So we hook this up onto there. I hear an air leak. Quit leaking air. Okay, now we gotta see what this thing does here. 30 pounds, huh? Okay. I guess I need a computer engineering degree to figure out how to make this work. 205 pounds? I don't think so. Too a lot of flashing.
what's a 2.1 something. Chew over in my head already to figure it out. Yeah. Wonder how much air is in this tire. All right. Let's see exactly how much air is in here. This is way too close to see anything. Fifteen pounds, maybe. Yeah, maybe twelve pounds. Tire gauge. Can I set this back up till we get on here? It's ten point five psi. Where I can get to it. There. There we go. Okay, we're reading 10.5 over here. So maybe so much air is in it now. Just one way of telling. Let's put some more air in it and see what happens. We gotta see if this thing does anything. Yeah, this doesn't work for squat. Okay, we know it's got 10.5 right now. Now, if it goes up a little bit after I put air in it, we know this is working. Because right now we don't know nothing. All right, some air in it now. Okay, now it's showing 17, 18 pounds, 18 and a half pounds. Okay, so we know that part's working. There's 19. How do you make it work? Well, I don't know. Does the switch do anything? Oh, there you go. I don't know what I did, but it worked. Well, it's a 23. Thing's got a hell of a piston pump in there. It's noisy. I think I broke it. All right. So, what's this button here do? So I guess you have to push it lots of times. R means something important probably. Okay, there we go. We're up to 30, 33.5 psi. Let's see if that happens. Okay, now last time I turned the switch on and off, did it? Seems to be working. Stopped at 33 and a half. There's 34 and a half. 34, 33 and a half. Appears to be a stabilized number we wanted. Hmm. All right. Appears to work. It's got a pretty big piston there. It filled a tire up pretty quick. 
Of course, it's a small tire. It's only 21 inch. So, all right, looks like it works. Maybe I should read the instructions now. Works better in my airline. Where's the instructions? We lost the instructions already. Oh, there they are. Carried in the bag. I don't know why they give us instructions. Nobody wants to read instructions. It's no fun. Uh, in car air compressor. Well, there's the problem. I'm not in a car. I don't know what that is. Okay. Oh, there's more stuff we're supposed to do. Yeah, I'll worry about that later. So, let's see here. Oh, look at all these different languages I got. Um, I think that's French. I'm pretty sure that's not American. It's got L and it's got to be Spanish. Italian must be Italian. English, that's what I need. And Deutsch, that must be German or something. Okay, I like this one, English. Why are we looking at the back page? It's on a front page. Oh, it appears to be 12 volt. Yeah, I can tell. Uh, let's see, I don't know what that means. Yeah, it's got a bright LED lamp. Yeah, we don't need that. Start your car. Uh, I don't have a car. I got a motorcycle. Motorcycles don't have outlets like that on them. Keynote, R key for your unit button. I have no idea what that means. I guess that's for display or something. Key decrease, key to increase. Key what? Well, I don't see no place to put a key. Maybe they mean push a button or something. Oh, that'd be the negative and the positive. So that'd be a button, not a key. I thought this was written in English. Wait for three seconds after setting default value. Exit default mode. Real-time detection current pressure. Great. What's the R mean? Turn on the switch. I turn on and off and made it work. Need to switch off the switch, then open again. That's what I did. That's taking the air valve on and off. I figured that out by myself. Canadian's working time shall not exceed eight minutes. So you cannot use it for more than eight minutes at a time. It doesn't tell you how much CFM it puts out, though. Going out back quickly, it's got that tire up. Yeah, not too bad. I think it's time for a test. How about that? That's a little small tire. That'd be a good test. 58 Ford pick them up. This came off of something else. This is your basic uh, one foot by, I don't know, 32 inch? Who knows? If you can read this, that's the size. It says tubeless. Oh, shit. D range. Yeah, what is it? Killing. Yeah, there it is. Well, that's a 16.5. That's a standard tire size these days. 12 inch. I got the 12 inch part right. Perfect. Because it takes a valve core. We had one of those over here. Yeah, we had one over here. Let's way the hell over here now. And there's my tool. See my tool? I can put a valve thing on that and you can turn it. Yeah. Free knob. Don't have to pay for it either. It's free. That's the best price for tools. Free. Okay. Now, well, how much air is in this? I forgot to look. Remember, don't short out your hot wire in there. You might get in trouble. Okay, it's probably like 50 pounds in this or so. Close enough. It has a uh, 28. How much you think's really in this? Any way to find out? We got a tool right over there that tells us. Okay. Let's get this motorcycle thing out of the way. Oh, oh, got disconnected. Oh, we got an air leak. Okay, model eight wheel we tested. Oh, that's lighter than the other wheel. There you go, model eight. Everybody needs one of them. Okay, this is a 32.5 or something. 16512. Ah, these are things heavy. Yep. Right there. Yep. There, it landed on top of the tool. Yeah, we were doing a drop test just to check it out. Oh, it landed on top of this. It didn't break it yet. It passed the first test. Yeah. Taste of destructive test number one. It passed. Maybe we haven't hooked it up yet. Oh, we didn't hook this up. Okay, you want to see how much air is in this? It's got air in it. It still works. Even though the tire dropped on it. 
it says it's got 28 and a half pounds of air in that thing right now. Look at that. So it's makes an air gauge. This one only said 27 on it, I thought. Let's check this out. Yeah. One, two, no, it's 28. It is 28. So you got a little bit above 25. All right. More than a half a pound. Okay, quick way to deflate your air. Just unscrew this. The trick is not to lose it and blow it across the room over here. Yep, sun, sun's out. Not much longer though. I think I broke my tool. Yep, I broke the tool. I gotta tighten my tool up. So we're gonna do this again. Oh, this thing's tight. I think it's rusted in. It appears to be in there pretty tight. All right, we need a different tool. Need more leverage. It appears to be rusty. Where's my tripod? Tripod. Two-handed job. Scooby went away too. Scooby ran away. Where you at, Scooby? Okay. This has been sitting outside for a few years, so it might be a little corroded. Some little extra leverage. Kitties on there, we didn't break it off. That's a good sign. Music to my ears. A lot of air. We'll look at blue down a little bit. So we're going to cut the gauge on this thing now. So, R, these are units to measure, I don't know what a bar is, KPA, uh, KCFCM, PSI, that's American, I don't know what that means. Okay, then we bump this number up, you can't hold the button in, you actually have to push it at this point, that's kind of a pain in the butt. Okay, so this car tire, or truck tire, so it's like 50 PSI in this thing. I don't know how good this thing pump is, let's find out. Okay, so now, we'll hook this up on there and see what it is. Okay, we're running out of air here quick. We're going to put this back in. Four. Probably should put some lube on it, but, eh. We had lube in it once. I'm not sure what year that was. Okay, that's tight. See how much air pressure we got. According to this, we got zero. Okay, now we flip it on and off, and it should come on. Let's run for a while. We can run it for up to eight minutes, it says.
after. Let it run for a while. Let's see what happens. Couple seven PSI, you know. a big truck tire. So if you got a big truck like you know something like this thing that's off-road, this kind of tire you need. If you're in a bike like that, then the, uh, that tire there would work a lot quicker. So, a little skinny tire over there would be up real fast. So, Alright, we'll come back in a few minutes, see what happens. Alright, back. It's been five minutes. The pump just made a different noise. Got a little quieter. Pumping. A little bit of heat, but not too much. Still going good. 26 PSI. We're way ahead of our little city going. Five minutes. We should have turned ourselves about eight pounds. It's just have gone up 16 pounds. It's doing double what I thought it would. Good. Pretty good size pump. I'll let it run to 50 pounds, see if it makes it. Gotta do a stress test, right? So, let's see, we're up 10, 15, 10, 7, so it should be up to about 40 pounds in another 5 minutes. Alright, we'll come back in a few more minutes, see what happens. B, where are you going? There he is. Got a bone. You got a big bone there. Oh, look at that big bone. Yes, I can get it. Yeah, we just hit 40 psi. Here you go, Scooby. We're going, Scooby. Uh, it took uh, about eight minutes to get that extra 15 pounds in it, whatever it was. Not too bad. Yeah. All 
right, so we did a, what, about a 15 minute run there. I'm sure that wasn't more than eight minutes. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, a little bit of heat in it. Not too much. Let's see, it's uh, early January, so it's uh, probably about 60, 66 degrees outside right now. Most of the heat's right here. It's right in this area here. Now that the pump has stopped, it's a little bit cooler. I mean, a little bit warmer than it was. Can't see what's inside of this thing, but... Definitely gave it a stress test there, and it seemed to be working. Every now and then it makes a little bit different noise. Still very loud. You definitely don't want that running in your car. It'll give you a headache while it's running. Uh, 40 PSI on this big tire. That's pretty... Putting out a good pump. Pretty good pressure. So, I don't know what this thing's rated for. So It's going to get harder to pump as it gets uh, hotter. I mean, as it gets higher in the pressure. So. so, I think I'll give it about a five minute cool off period. Now, you can speed this up by blowing air in it. Putting in the wind. Let the wind blow through here. I'm in a hurry. I don't want to wait, so... I have a portable windstorm around here. It resembles an airline. Yeah, it looks like this. We'll put some portable wind in this thing. All right. And we'll put it on a tripod here. It's easier to do that than try to hold the camera while I'm working. All right. There, let's see, we'll put that back there. You might be able to see what I'm doing, maybe. There we go. All right, we're just going to blow in the loop. Air pressure. See what happens. Not real high pressure, just like a wind. Smell it more when you do that. Got that new car smell to it. Okay, we're at 39 and a half PSI now. <sighs> so I dropped half a PSI from sitting. Oh yeah, so there's our time. Let's go ahead and crank it up the rest of the way, see what happens. Alright, we'll come back a few minutes to it looks like. 
All right, the pump just stood off about 20 seconds ago, so I figure we started on the clock. Yeah, whatever. It has got 250 psi. That's a good sign. It's definitely getting warmer. It's definitely stinking more. Heat's moved more to this area now. Right under here is where the heat is. But sure if that's where the pump is. That's probably just where the heat's building up. All right, well, it made it. So we ran the thing for about a half hour. We set off for five minutes, so I guess that was a relaxed time for it. So that's a pretty good sign. This is hot, too, from the air pressure coming out of it. Still noisy. Yeah, this this hose is probably up to probably 110 degrees. Definitely making some heat. Old piston pump. That's why it makes so much noise. The piston pumps make good volume of air, so there you go. Yeah, the light's way too bright. It'd be nice if you turn that stupid light off. What the hell did I get that thing on for? Stupid. But uh, yeah, pretty good. It passed the Tetro test. It pumped up this big stinking ass tire. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's heavy too. Yeah, it's dark out now. Nice. Nice winter time, San Diego weather. It's not raining this week, so it's good. All right. So that's all filled up. Four more to go, right? Yeah, right. All right, be nice if it came with a damn uh, outlet for uh, going on to a 12 volt battery instead of a stupid ass, whatever that is, radio jack plug or whatever. So, I don't know how you turn this thing off. It's working now. I can hold 50 pounds, see? 52 pounds. That's a grip. i do a finger test. Oh, it broke. Oh, yeah, I can easily hold 50 pounds. That was 55. One that time. There you go. It's a finger testing tool. Secondary thing, it's you can build up finger strength, see? How much pressure can you hold? Alright. I wonder how it works on a motorcycle tire. This is a 65 Harley Panhead. So let's go ahead and uh, I think I put my tire tool away. Yep, I did. Doop, 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 doop. Back over here. See how long it takes to do a motorcycle. Nice little tool. Let me put it on my race bike maybe. Take up the racetrack, blow my tire up, and just put too much air out. Be good for drag racing. Oh, it appears we have a hole in our tire. Oh, look at that. It, it dropped right to. Oh, jeez. Appears we're not riding home on that tire. There seems to be a hole in it. Well, it's only flat on the bottom, so we're fine. It shouldn't be a problem, then. Alright. Yeah. And that was vintage air in there. It's been in there at least for a couple weeks. Uh oh. Remember I told you about arcing the uh, arcing that over there? Yeah, I arced it. I didn't keep that covered up enough. See, when you're walking on your lines over here, this happens. Okay, do not arc that line again. So quit working. Don't walk on your wiring on the floor like that. It's not safe. I would never walk on my wiring. Never. Okay, so now we're going to hook this up. 
I get the twist out of this thing. Let's see if we can figure this thing out. Okay, well you gotta unhook this first. Like that. And you stick it over on that. Then you go like this. Boop. Then you come over here. Gotta set the uh, air pressure. We don't want 50 pounds in a hurley. Big bike like this, probably run about 32 pounds in the back. 34, 36 in the front. It's a good starting point. Yeah, 33 and a half is a good number. Yeah, I don't like that. It's too much air. Let's make it 33. Nice even number. Perfect. Okay, where's my clock? Let's see how long it takes to get up the pearly air pressure. Okay, we're at 30 seconds. Ready? Time go. already. Eight and a half pounds. Nine. Right, we're going to make 15 pounds by a minute. <laughs> you can ride it away at 15 pounds if you have to. It's be best not to be on the freeway though. Pretty quick. Car is not quite so flat now on the bottom. Get off the rack up there. And 19 pounds. So we'll be at 20 pounds in a minute and a half. Maybe a minute and a half. 20 pounds. That's pretty quick. If you had a power jack right off the uh, battery, you had a couple of alligator clips, for that stupid cigarette lighter club, they'll probably make adapters someplace and buy one. Maybe the guy that sells this sells those, who knows? <coughs> oh, yeah, there's a two minutes, 26 pounds. Just a uh, 500. Uh, 16 year tire. Maybe a 130, 90, 16 for your metric guys. Round again almost. Come up on 30 pounds here. 30. Two and a half minutes. It's going to shut off probably in you know, 15 seconds. 32 pounds. Yeah, we'll be about 15 seconds left. Oop, 15, 16, 17, 18. Ah, went to 19 seconds. So that took two and a half, two and three quarter minutes to get 33 psi in a in a MT90 16 tire. That'd be like a small car tire. You know, you get one of them like Prius piece of crap vehicles. Fine American Taiwan. Somebody, Japanese company, whoever it is. All right, so there you go. That goes pretty quick. And that's after. Oh. Yeah, it dropped a pound already. That's because it's got heat. Yeah, this thing's hot. Remember, this has got a hot pump in here, so. Yeah. If it's colder, it might uh, be a little better. I don't think this thing automatically comes on though. You can't make it like a battery tender, you just pick it up and leave it on your garage. You'd have to that'd be nice if it did that. But oh well. Keep your tires inflated all the time. But, uh, it's definitely a hot, hot, hot. Alright, so that's pretty good. So yeah, I'm happy with it. it. Seems to work. I'll put it over my race bike stuff so when I go to track, when I run the bike up here, I'll go ahead and throw it in my junk pile over there and take it with me to the track. That way if my front tire is low or rear tire is low, I can 
jack it up real quick. But it ought to give me a power adapter, I'll just use my alligator clips. Eh, whatever I got. It'd be nice to have a 12 volt battery power adapter or just hook it right to it. You know, it doesn't take much effort to do that. All you gotta do is cut this thing off here and get a set of these leads like this. Every battery charger has a set. See, there's a set on this battery charger right here, see? Let's pull it off here. Get these quick disconnect plugs and hook it up onto this and get rid of that stupid ass thing there. And you got an alligator clip. Look at any 12 volt battery. So that way you can make it motorcycle friendly. Right now, this is not motorcycle friendly, it's car friendly. So, all right, well, there you go. Appears to be a decent system. Brand X, I don't know what name's on that thing. Audrey something, I think. Where's the label? Yeah, that thing. There you go. Guess you buy it on Amazon or someplace. Anyway, seems to be a good unit. So I did the pass the Tetro test. I haven't dropped it on the floor yet. That'd be the next test, I guess. But, except for the stupid plug on it for cars, it seems to work pretty good. So and it should have a light switch. Turn that stupid light off. But, oh well. What do you want? Everything. So, so anyway, there it is. It seems to work.